Hi, I'm Katie Campbell from Core Elements, and in this video, we're going to go through a scapula release. We need to warm up the area first. We're going to use massage and we're going to use lotion for today. This is Physique's lotion, but you can use wax oil or any of your preferred medium. So you get the medium onto your hands and just warm up the area using your normal long stroking petrissage techniques. Work all up the erector spinae, around the upper traps, over the deltoids, and then over the scapula itself. Once the area is covered appropriately in lotion or wax or oil, you can then start to try and mobilize the scapula. Clients get to tuck their hand into their shorts or trousers, and this should allow us to get a little bit of a grip on the scapula itself. So you can see it's slightly winging there. If you've got enough purchase, you can just tuck your fingers on the inside and then gently stretch the scapula towards you. Start off at the bottom, the inferior angle, and then gradually work your way up. Make sure your nails are short for this. You don't want to scratch the client. Sometimes the client has very, uh, has a lot of restriction within this area and you can't get any purchase. If this is the case, just ask your client to pop their hand underneath their hip, just as this one is here. And you can use a towel, roll it up or a pillow, depending on what you've got access to in your clinic, pop it underneath the shoulder and ask the client to relax the elbow. And then you can try again. So sometimes this just allows more purchase on the inferior angle, giving it a really good stretch as you bring the scapula towards you. Just checking in with your client that it's not too sore. They'll often give you feedback quite um, straight away with this one, as it can feel quite intense. It's so gradually working your way up. Does that feel okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, a good stretch. So there we just saw a bit of muscle guarding or some muscle tension through there. So as I was pulling the scapula towards me, Dawn just tense slightly, probably involuntary. If this is the case and it happens quite a lot and the body's just not letting you create that stretch, you can do a short MET. So here you would hold the, the elbow, ask the client to relax the elbow just relax the elbow, good, you can see a little bit of winging through there. Holding that stretch for 10 to 15 seconds. Again, this should never be painful or sore. And then you're gonna ask your client to push their elbow up to the ceiling. Just push up, good. And again, this is doing 10, 15% of their power. You need to try and resist that movement, so you want that isometric stretch, isometric contraction to help elicit that stretch. And then if you relax on the out breath, good. And then you can see that's ringing a lot more there. So as long as the client can keep the elbow relaxed. So I always use on the out breath, relax the elbow down to the ground. Good. And then very gently and slowly, you can create a little bit more of a stretch. So you can pull the shoulder blade towards you, the scapula towards you, and then hold that for three or four seconds and then working your way up. And then hopefully that will relax it off enough to then pop the hand up behind. So you move the pillow or the towel, pop that there, and then it may be that it's relaxed enough for you to go back to this initial position, creating that stretch and mobilizing the scapula, but either way works. Okay, another, another thing we can do here is we can tuck the hand underneath the hip so you start off here so it's not so intense, and then you can pop one hand underneath the shoulder, and then their upper arm is going to rest on your lower arm. You're going to push up to the ceiling, and then with this hand, I'm just going to try and go underneath the shoulder blade. So I'm pushing up with my left, down with my right, 
Just relax the elbow, good. On every out breath, relax the elbow. And then here, you can create a little bit of mobilization through the whole shoulder girdle and increase that stretch on the scapula. Once you've got good purchase, you can then lift and then stretch out and relax. You can lift and then stretch it out and relax. Good. Between each stretch or each movement, I would flush the area through. So again, work through the upper traps, work through trigger points in levator scapulae, work through the common trigger points of the back and soft tissue up through the erector spinae. You can do that in between the scapula release. It's quite an intense movement and can feel quite strong to the client. So to just to recap, the first position we had, the client had their hand underneath their waist belt and they were relaxing their elbow. And then you may be able to get a good grip on the scapula to bring that towards you and create a really good stretch through the rhomboids and the muscles at the upper back. If you weren't able to get any movement in the scapula, we could then tuck the hand underneath the hip just to keep the arm secure. They relax their elbow. We use a pillow, nothing too high, or a towel underneath the shoulder. They just lift their shoulder up, pop it underneath. They relax the elbow, client relaxes their elbow. And then that sometimes gives us a little bit more grip to work with, just to help mobilize that scapula and increase that stretch. After that, we can put our hand underneath the shoulder on the anterior part of the deltoid. Their upper arm is going to rest on our lower arm. We're going to push down with our other, up with our left, tuck underneath the scapula, just reminding the client to breathe and to relax the elbow. And then we can stretch the whole shoulder girdle. Good, and relax. And remember between each posture or each stretch, each movement, you can flush through the area. All over the upper back, mid back and shoulder joint. So that was scapular release. Mm -hmm.